the financial crisis happened and it turned a lot of attention to uh, quantitative models and the heavy reliance on them by some parties. In your experience, have you had to answer to that? People cannot distinguish between risk models and pricing models. There were absolutely some problems with pricing models. Um, the risk models did quite well. There really wasn't a lot of statistical surprise in this uh, crisis. The things that went wrong were things we were looking at. It wasn't like something came out of left field and hit us. What it didn't do was either predict or prevent the crisis. And I think one of the biggest misunderstandings is that risk management is about predicting and preventing disasters, okay? We don't try to predict. We try to prepare for everything that might happen. What about the role of data and um the ability to process it. Uh, the volumes of it are great and the data stores are great, greater than they used to be. Yeah, that is true. And, and certainly we are you know, among the heaviest users of IT uh, um, in the firm. But that's not the core of what we do. You know, for one thing, it can't be, because in a crisis, you're not going to have the data. It's a nice extra, but the day I have to look at my computer screen to know where the risk is in the company is the day that, you know, we're, we're well, I'm not doing my job. Or we're, maybe we're too big or too opaque or too complicated or something, but I can't rely on a computer to do the risk management. Engineers is another profession that's designed, that's trained to do it right. You know, you don't, you know, uh, build a defective bridge because your boss wants to get it in on time. And, and, and engineers as a group really believe that they have to. And of course, the, many of the master's programs are in financial engineering. <laughs> yes, and uh, um, I think you know, that, it, you know, and, and, and many of them are taught in engineering departments, by the way, which frankly I've found works sometimes. Can I ask you to say something about the FRM? It, it does a few things. Um, one thing that's very important is it demonstrates commitment to risk management. Um, the material on the FRM is generally useful. Now, if, if you told me, okay, well, somebody could you know, read some books on risk management and uh, learn the same amount of material, uh, I don't disagree with that. I don't think the FRM is so, uh, some incredibly useful secret wisdom you get from taking the FRM course um, that somebody couldn't learn. But it's a credential, and the other thing it says to me is at least potentially this is a person who may have some professional integrity, some professional pride. It absolutely is a plus. You know, it gets you, you know, it, 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 it separates you out. Frankly, we get a big pile of resumes. Uh, a lot of them look pretty good, and, and the FRM is going to put you up in the pile. What's your level of optimism about the risk management profession? I'm optimistic. Um, we're going to uh, have an ebb and flow, and we're flowing now, we're going to ebb. People will put more reliance on computerized things, and, and uh, they'll take comfort in regulatory uh, uh, structures that put in place. They'll have kind of more uh, third-party sort of um, cookie-cutter stuff in place. I think, I think there has been a critical mass at the core of the profession. We're not going to predict the disaster, we're not going to prevent the disaster, but some of us will survive it.